Hey everybody, welcome to Bird Tech. In this episode, I'm going to be reviewing the Caterpillar. All right, welcome back. Before we start this video, I want to make sure that you like and subscribe. If this video got a thousand likes, it would mean the world to me. So please smash that like button. Remember that this channel doesn't do a Patreon so we sell our digital products down below. The more money we get from the content that you buy below, the more content we can make. All right, so let's talk a little bit about the Caterpillar. Now, the Caterpillar is a toy for kids and mostly toddlers that teaches them how to code. Now, as an educator, that is a person who has an e-learning company and a person who has made games for kids for many, many years, this is an amazing toy and I am going to review it. So first of all, let's talk a little bit about the Caterpillar itself. So as you can see, the coder pillar has all these commands that are executed one by one on its body. And this is a great idea because it shows kids how to code. Because when you code, what happens is the code runs line by line and the compiler executes it line by line. So just like a compiler, it is executing these commands line by line. There's also a button at the top that is run and it is a play button, which means that it is more like a play button that you see on a lot of IDEs. So as a person with kids, I wanted to see if there was any options for them to learn to code just to see what options were out there. And this came up and it was very well received and with good reason. It is a fairly good product. So the age range for this product is three to six years old. Now I have a three year old and a one year old and I'll tell you a little funny story about what happened when I pulled this up but later. And since this is meant for three to six year olds, it does give a really good grasp of the concepts of coding. That is executing the code line by line. Now. After looking at this, this is a very well designed toy and it does exactly what it is supposed to do. And the thing about designing for that age group is that things need to be really simple. Of course, there wouldn't be a product like the products that Mammoth Interactive produces, hint, hint, buy the products down below. You couldn't make a product like that for ages three to six. It would be very difficult to get a, a kid to sit in front of a computer and then learn by watching tutorials. This would not work, but this is a very good way to do it because not only does it teach the kids how a compiler works, it teaches them commands, and this is exactly what coding is. Coding at its very essence is telling the computer to do something and having that computer do that thing. And this is exactly what the coder pillar does. So let's take a look at some of the commands. So each segment of the body does one particular thing. Now you can either go left, forward, or right, and each segment has its own special item. So the first item is talking, the second item is music, the third is animal sounds, the fourth is eating, and the last is sleepy time music. So the way it would work is that you can go, let's say forward, left, right, and then wind music, and then sleep music. And you can do any variation as a result. It is actually fairly fun to watch. So once you look at the actual coder pillar and see it work for a little bit, you'll actually be quite surprised at how ingenious this toy is. Now, the other thing about the coder pillar is that it is actually fairly cute and it does look very neat. If you look at the actual coder pillar's head, it does look fairly friendly to kids and the kids tend to like it a lot. At least my kids like this very, very much. So at least I tried to explain to my three-year-old that what you do is you put in commands and then the coder pillar executes them one by one. That way, at least planting the idea in her mind that this is how coding works. Now, of course, the age group says three to six, and I can see maybe a four, five, or six-year-old playing with this just as well. Remember, age groups are kind of a bit fluid, and in this case, I think maybe a seven-year-old might have a little bit of fun with it anyway, but it is a very good idea, and I'm very impressed with it, hence, this is why I'm doing the review. Now, of course, any review has to give this some kind of star rating. So I want to tell you what happened when I pulled this out in front of my two kids. Well, what happened was is that my three-year-old really liked it and my one-year-old also really liked it. And what happened was is that they fought over it and we had to hide it within five minutes of opening it up. The coder pillar is just that good. In fact, my kids cried for maybe a good five minutes after we hit it. Now, of course, after that, we still bring it out and they don't fight over it anymore, but the coder pillar was so good that it was worth fighting over. So all in all, I give this toy five stars. It's a very good toy and it teaches young kids at least the basic concepts on how to code. And furthermore, it's not an app and it's something physical that they can use because most kids have some kind of tablet these days and it's hard to get them off the tablet. And this is a physical thing 
that they can use to learn to code. And I think that a lot of things that are gonna happen in the next 20 years are gonna be more to the robotic side versus the actual coding side. So getting kids used to the idea of something physical and something moving around like this little robot here is a good idea. All right, so that concludes this video. I wanna make sure that you like and subscribe. The more subscribers we get, the more content we can make. Also, if this video got a thousand likes, it would mean the world to me. Remember that this channel doesn't do Patreon, instead we sell our digital products down below. The more money we get from the content we buy below, the more content we can make. If you really like this channel, you can subscribe to Mammoth Interactive's huge library of content. We have everything from web development tutorials all the way to machine learning. We also have a bundle of courses called Coding for Parents. If you want to teach your kid for code, we have a course that teaches parents how to code. We also have a kids coding course. Those links are also down below for a one-time purchase. If you're already a subscriber to Mammoth Interactive, thank you so much. Not only do you make this YouTube channel possible, you make Mammoth Interactive possible. We have monthly and yearly options. Thanks for listening. I'll see you in another video.